Welcome to Strangeville. Welcome to the channel, gang. My name is Kevin Strange. And I gotta get a saber tooth voice going here. I'm a 20 year veteran of the underground. I'm a cartoonist, a novelist, and an independent filmmaker. And I'm here today to share my love of comic books with you. I'm here with my good friend Andrew. What's your Wolverine voice? <clears throat> I don't think so, Bob. It kind of sounds like your saber tooth. It kind of sounds like my saber tooth. Maybe yeah. I should do Wolverine. Okay. <clears throat> Listen, Bob. No, I think it sounds exactly the same. <laughs> I think we're basically just going to sound like the same guy. We're going to go yeah. back and forth okay. and have some fun in this episode. That's right. And, uh, and try to do some... Because um, we get a special treat here. Welcome to the Channel King. We're going to do... We're going to look at Sabretooth, uh, uh, Death Hunt, number three, Larry Hama, uh, Mark Teixeira. Great uh, work by Tex here. Uh, a, a super treat to get um, guest a guest star of Wolverine. So we've had, uh, we already did one uh, video on Sabretooth number one, where Sabretooth fought um, the hand from Daredevil, mm -hmm. uh, fucked up a whole shitload of ninjas with his sidekick Birdie. Yep. And, um, and we got, were introduced got to... Got a bomb implanted by Tribune. By Tribune. And now somehow we have, we don't have... He's been set to assassinate Mystique. That's right. And we don't we didn't see any of that happen. That, that all, I guess, happened in issue two. Probably. Which we don't have access to. But we are going to jump into issue three. I don't know. Was, um, was Wolverine in issue two? Probably not. Is this... I mean, I guess he's going to... Um, well, yeah, it looks okay. like he was. Yep. He must have showed up at the end <laughs> Right at the end panel, looks like, and, yeah. Uh, and now we just start off immediately with... Uh, and we get this uh, fantastic... Mark Teixeira uh, on the pencils and inks on the ones and the twos. And um, is that Mystique? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Doesn't look like anything. It looks like a blown out fucking nothing on, <laughs> <laughs> up on the screen. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. And uh, City of Night is this uh, issue. Um, I guess Wolverine was at a party. Well, I guess so was Mystique. I guess mm, yeah. Sabretooth crashed this party. Look at the size of with claws. The claws on Sabretooth there. Yeah. Well, um, even the Wolverine would do. Yeah, the Wolverine. How far past right. the yeah, actual way, levels. Way. Huge. What is that? It's, it's 20 inches? <laughs> it's like a foot, a foot and a half plus on that. Um, difficult to swing around. And then, yeah. of course, Mystique can, shape can, change, can change and shape shift. Look at these beautiful... Uh, Mark to share faces just and you should check out Sequest DSV on NBC uh, you know I have a Sequest comic book here you do no kidding believe it or not, I, have a I do book. not believe it well, this is astonishment here go ahead and keep flipping for a second all right got a neat little smoke effect here and how about this some crazy pricing people people want to complain about prices nowadays here you're getting a video cassette VHS of one episode of X-Men, the cartoon animated series. 25 minute episode for $9.95. Holy cow. Number one even. That's a collector's. Should we do a should we do an episode on Sequest DSV? Was yeah. that the move was that the show or the comic that uh That was the show. That's there. the show. Yeah. And then I've got uh, the comic. R.I.P. Jonathan Brandis. <laughs> oh, did he die? He killed himself. Oh, my God. Was that a couple of years ago? No, that was, like, way back in the day. Oh, he did kill himself young, didn't he? Yeah. Famously, that I knew him from the It miniseries. He was Bill Dibber. Oh, in It? Yeah. yeah. That's right. So, I don't know. This isn't exactly a... Who did, who did the art on this? Uh -huh. This is um, uh, Keith Pollard on pencils and Alfredo Alcala. Um, on the that sounds familiar. Yeah, you've you've are, shown some Alcala before. Yeah, on those channel. are familiar guys. Uh, I mean, obviously they're gonna have to fight something cool. I guess they're fighting a janitor. Oh, okay. Uh, here, this is really blown out on this. Yeah, side. it is. A lot of paper. One, two. That's not really glossy. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is that. Did that help at all? Slightly. Then maybe I can turn it. If you're tired of lighting issues, check us out on Patreon. Help us out. <laughs> it's not helping at all. <laughs> Is the glare coming from the other? No. I don't know. That's I don't know. That's bad. Here, what I can do is I can actually. Oh. 
little mood lighting. Does that help a little bit? Or? Anyway. So they're fighting a janitor. Mm -hmm. We've completely hijacked the Sabretooth episode, and now we're doing <laughs> a, a Sequest DSV episode. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I don't know. We got dinosaurs yeah, so and naked people. Dinosaurs, naked dudes, a cult, a cult with a... Look at his facial hair. He, um, he's got it... He's got his facial hair cut into a trident. Oh. Because that's not gay. <laughs> he's got a trident. I guess he's got a trident on his um, on his little uh, talisman there that he's wearing, too. Hmm. Well, there you go. That's what you're waiting for. <laughs> got everything. Jeez. <laughs> They usually have sea monsters. Is what I was trying to get to. All right. Yeah. Hey, here's a, full, a double, double taste Flash spread page. of the of the show, and a know. third. They call that synergy. Oh. Yeah, I was looking for sea monsters. I don't think there's any sea monsters in this episode. Yeah. There's a oh! sea monster. A sea monster on the Just last when page. you've given up hope. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Back to saber tooth. Um, I guess this is a great this is a great time to uh, to take a break and uh, talk about uh, about forty percent of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. No so kidding. Subscribing takes um, barely any time. Yeah. Just reach down there while you're watching the video and click mm -hmm. on that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. We are just just shy of the one thousand subscribers it takes to fully monetize the channel and start bringing in some money that'd be uh, helpful what would you do we're with like, this money we're like a hundred subscribers away and we're going to use the patreon money and the um advertising money and the money from super thanks that you guys drop after you're watching if you're watching the video and you find value in it hit that uh let me bring that back up if you're watching the video, you find value in it, you think this is a good channel, and you want to support us financially, you can always drop a super thanks anytime during the uh, broadcast. You can just reach down there and click that super thanks, okay, and drop us uh, a drop us a dime, drop us a dollar, uh, and all that money goes towards better camera equipment, better uh, microphones. I really want to get some high quality um, audio going here because I think. One at which we're about to get into and do here. I think one of the big highlights of this channel is going to be the um, voice acting, the performing. Eventually, I want to make all this Strangeville stuff into um, an animated series. Ooh. And so Nixon and Hogan, my characters, Nixon and Hogan are going to be the stars of the animated series. Okay. And um, and I'm going to voice both of them. Oh. So so I'm going to be. I, I would rather not be the animator because that's extremely. So I want to be like. I want to do like the show bible and the writing. So the show bible would be like the art design, the style. Oh, of what okay. the characters are going to look like, and then be the head writer, and then do the voice acting for so pretty much like Rick and Morty, um, where Justin um, what was his Royland. name Justin Roiland uh -huh. was uh, you know he was Rick and Morty. Um, I want to be Nixon and Hogan in that, so I'm trying to flex my voice acting chops here on the show. And these are just on, on the fly, one takes. A lot of this dialogue I've never even looked at before, right. so I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm saying as sometimes time goes, you're whiskey drunk. Sometimes I'm too drunk to even fucking uh, attempt it. Um, but uh, as we go on, and I, I want to get better and better microphones so that we can really emphasize those performances, and I think that's going to help this channel stand out from the other jobber channels that do. Um, uh, a lot of um, comic book reviews that end up reviewing these exact same books that we do. Like, there's already comic book channels that have covered the Mark Teixeira Sabretooth stuff. No kidding. Andrew, but no. uh, they don't do it the way we do it. And anyway, you can subscribe to the channel, help us get monetized, help us get those microphones that'll help us do better voice acting. And once we hit, we're only about 100 subscribers away from that coveted 1,000 subscribers that'll mm -hmm. pull us out of small channel hell. And when that happens, I'm going to give away a free digital version of my um of my uh 164 page graphic novel space worms edited by andrew here and That's he right. actually gets uh, top billing in the uh in the editing and then i get uh, secondary billing because he had to put up with 164 pages of my shit and it was a pretty pretty i mean we pretty much we like split it into sections but i think it probably took about a month yeah to do the editing on it before we had it cleaned up there's there's quite a few grammatical errors not so much spelling. You're you're pretty good with the spelling. Yeah, it's just putting it's, the punctuation and yeah. stuff in the correct places. Yeah, switching tenses a lot. Uh, yeah. 
So yeah, uh, become a subscriber, or and uh, you can also help us out financially by joining the Patreon. You can read uh, Space Worms right now if you become a patron. You can read Space Worms. You can read my newest book, Calcifula. You can read Death to Strangeville. You can read um, The Wizard of Ganj and Too Many Dabs and many more comics, novels, and you can watch um, all of my feature films, which Andrew starred in a couple. I did. Um, he was the uh, Nicholas, the uh, dungeon master from Colonel, uh, Kill. Colonel Kill Motherfuckers, mm -hmm. and uh, survives almost all the way to the end. Just about. Almost all the way. Almost made it. It's you're not the last to die, but you're close to it. Yeah, close to it. Um, if you become a patron and you get access to all that stuff, uh, you get shouts on the channel. So let's oh, shout yeah. out um, our patrons here. Let's do our Wolverine and uh, Sabretooth boys. Okay. <clears throat> Savage Splendor, the Dark Lord Carrion, Triple Six Yoshi, Alien on LSD, Joseph Stark, Loud Pack Productions, Dave Baxter, Jason German. Mutant Minds. Joshua Wise. Jeremy Maddox. Nirvana Bub. <laughs> you become a channel member. Uh, you become a channel member. That is uh, $2.99. Uh, you can click that join button there um, that you see in the uh, uh, underneath the video there. Click that join button for $2.99. You um, get access to all the videos we have yet to release Ooh. that's usually two two three four five weeks in advance uh right now we're recording this um episode in uh, uh mid-october it's mm -hmm. october 16th it is this is probably not going to air until maybe november 16th oh. or at least no probably the second week of november because okay. the first the first um episode i'll probably do the first week of november okay and then i'll follow it up a week later with this and so that's um that's a long time, and it so is. what? And why does that matter? Well, because as we continue to grow as a channel, um, and we get more and more channel members that get access to this er early access to these videos, mm -hmm. um, what Ed and Jim on Cartoonist Kayfabe used to call um, the Kayfabe effect, where this stuff would get sold out before these videos would go up to uh, the general public. Uh -huh. um, we're going to call it the Strangeville effect. And as we grow, so we would be doing an episode on Mark Teixeira's run on Sabretooth here. Um, this is going to be like five weeks uh, between when this goes up in the member section and mm -hmm. when it airs publicly. And that, so all the eBay and secondary market stu uh, places where you would be able to get um, these Sabretooth, these Teixeira Sabretooth runs, if you don't already have them, uh, they might be cleaned out by the time these videos yeah go public so i mean you know i'm looking for number two so yeah we're looking for number two gang uh we'll uh, we'll get we'll get to that later on uh we'll get to what we're going to do with number two later on but um yeah i guess we can start to uh work our way into and through uh well, let me center us up here a little bit better and okay. still got that awful glare um should we go a little further over maybe no that didn't help no that makes it worse um, I'll lift, you know, I'll lift the side because okay. all I need to do is this, oh. and it goes away. Well, yeah, quit being lazy. So <laughs> we're just gonna enjoy some of this to share art here before yeah. we dig in at this. Uh, I love the lighting here on um, on this panel right here, where you get uh, half of Sabretooth's face is just completely um, what's shattered called, off. Yes, shattered off with with solid blacks, which we call spotting blacks. Okay, in industry terminology. And it just gives it this this insane depth and artistry to it. Um, he's so good with the uh, with his faces, man. Because I guess maybe that's a sixth element in the uh, in the previous video we talk about Teixeira being a badass at all the different sort of elements that people um, that artists that cartoonists sort of specialize in. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. certain specialties like the male anatomy, or the female anatomy, or guns. Or vehicles, uh, vehicles or um, background, uh, background um, architecture, mm -hmm. and then I guess faces is another one that's like you can be like really good at um, just like, a close uh, up face guy. Like Kelly Jones is great at uh, at doing faces, but Teixeira he just seems to be great uh, at all of it. Like he's able to get this like um, Kelly Jones like expressiveness in his faces, mm -hmm. um, and and the crazy hulking. Male anatomy and right. the sexy female female anatomy, and I the really vehicles. love the color tint there, where it's all orange and yellows. Oh yeah, good stuff. And that continues onto this page. But see, his vehicles aren't that bad. Even his cars and shit. I mean, that's that's a cool car. Mm-hmm. 
Nothing wrong with that. That gives me Frank Miller vibes. Cause he's got a, a is that three oh, the of the highway, wheels, yeah. three of the wheels off the uh, off the ground. Frank Miller famously, he'll he'll when his car like in Sin City, his cars fly up off like there's no wheels on the ground. Oh no! It okay. makes it look like it's oh. going really fast because they're just flying up off the road. We'll have to do a Sin City. I've got a a nice cool one shot, specially limited edition uh, Sin City story one shot that we can look at. Okay. Sometime. So he's also great. Tex is also great at the female anatomy. Um, look at this face. This is awesome. Giant hulking. <laughs> Sabretooth is just a great character. I love oh, his, yeah. his costume. Look at this. Woo! Ripping the tuxedo off. He's got his fucking X Men costume <laughs> off underneath. He's pulling a. Uh, he's pulling a what's his name? Not wearing the fucking. Uh, oh yeah. Cowl he's pulling a Hugh Jackman there. Look at this. The whites and Sabretooth's eyes. I almost got to think that this is um, that this is reference that he's taking a picture of an actual guy and then tracing over it because that that face is just too perfect. That's like a human fucking the detail face. In it, the yeah. detail on it is just uh, and a lot of guys do that. Like uh, Richard Corbin this does is a lot. Cool silhouette panel. Oh yeah, this is great. I'm gonna do an episode on this um, on this. Uh, Oh no, I think I have it in the other room. But I have this Richard Corbin book where I think that the entire um, the entire thing he he does this short horror story, and I think the entire thing was um, referenced off photographs. And I think it's him and some chick. And I think because it all takes place by the in this like seaside cabin where they go and and do it, and then some awful shit happens to him. Yeah. I think he just invited a chick out to do it. Wow. And took pictures of them, po took Polaroids of them while they were out there, and then and then sketched it into a into comic panels. That, that's my guess. Look at this, hulking ass fucking saber tooth. He's just a giant. This, look at this. The most, I was saying that the other day that I I look at comic book stuff the same way I watch um, wrestling, where I'm like, look at the size of them delts. Man, look at the back muscles. <laughs> the back. Look at the back muscles the back. on Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> I look at comic book dudes the same way. I'm like always marking out for their muscles. Look at that fucking face. To be concluded. All right, let's do a little back and forth with uh, Wolverine and Sabretooth here, and then uh, and we'll go from there. <clears throat> here we go. You came all the way to Paris just to take a whooping, Wolverine? I'm not taking anything, Sabretooth. I'm handing it out. Big talk, little man. But my business ain't with you, it's with your date. What business could you have with Mystique? She's on the wrong end of a contract, short round. She's the snuffy, and I'm the snuffer. Over my dead body. I'm fixing to oblige you on that one. Voila, le creep supreme de la maison, eh, flabeau. Flambi. <laughs> your French could use some work. Oh, yeah. Now, don't you wander off, Mystique. I'm going to get to you as soon as I finish off the runt. Ain't you being a bit optimistic? Optimism's for candy butt losers, boy. I don't think positive. I am positive. Whatever. Lenny? Lenny? <laughs> Zauber? No, it's a, it's a trick. You're really Mystique. I'm both, Victor. That's the joy of being a shapeshifter. Hey, I'm not finished with you, bub. Oh, yes, you are. You just cool your he heels, you hear? The name's Birdie, and <laughs> I'm a friend of mine. Right, I gotta do her. I gotta do her different than that. Oh, yes, you are. You just cool your heels, you hear? The name's Buddy, and I'm friends with Miss, uh, friends of Mr. Creed. Don't push your luck, girly. 
I haven't had my hors d'oeuvres yet, and I'm cranky. It's an amazing likeness, Mystique. How did you know what Lenny looked like? It's not just the look, yeah? Anybody can dress up. But what are the voice, gestures, and attitude? Perfection. Nichewa? Nichewa? Is that what has I, how you pronounce that? Nicked water, probably. Nicked yeah. water. She's like German, right? So this is no like mere masquerade, her creed. You, I don't have a good German accent. Mm. You see, even as I am mystique, so am I, Lenny Zauber. You. <laughs> your table is ready, mademoiselle. Mademois mademoiselle. Will the gentleman require a loan of the house caravan? Absolutement. Can I prevail upon you? Who is the writer on this fucking thing? Is this still Hama Larry Hama? Again. Yeah. He's really going to town. He's fucking me up on, the, on all this fucking <laughs> French and German and all this shit. Can I prevail upon you all to call a truce until after dessert I can explain things? Later. So what's a nice girl like you doing working for a... Uh, no, that's Saber. That's a Wolverine. Oh, how oh it is. So what's a nice girl like you doing working for a slime like Sabretooth? I was kind of getting a little Creole in there. That was kind of... Uh, <laughs> it was almost Gambit-like. <laughs> the oh, Gambit Wolverine. So what's a nice girl like you doing working for a slime like Sabretooth? <laughs> it's better than being dead. Seems to me... If you let me do my thing, girl, you wouldn't have anything more to worry about. I am the best at what I do, if I don't say so myself. Let me... You know, like, remember how fucking big Sabretooth is? Yeah. Like, is that Sabretooth right there? Mm -hmm. Like, look yeah. how fucking big he is. Yeah, he's literally, like, carrying a dude. Oh. Now, remember how short Wolverine's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. He's never depicted as as that short oh, this is a weird angle but he should be a complete dwarf and you know it, it occurred to me as he was calling him short round and all mm -hmm. that stuff yeah. making fun of his height that he's all because he's always making fun of Wolverine's height but Wolverine never looks small next to him when they draw him I mean, I guess they always draw, like, he's always down on his <laughs> hands and knees or something. So here's a yeah. here's a um, silhouetted shot of them all together down here. And Wolverine, it's not, I mean, he's he's considerably shorter. Mm -hmm. But he's on par with the women. But it yeah. looks like, but look how far Sabretooth is forward from him, I guess. So, yeah, if you moved him back, he'd be even taller. And so I guess he's like four or five heads taller than Wolverine, but you never see it depicted like that, because they always uh, text is, because that's that's what's called. Um, what do you call that in wrestling terms? Uh, cover covering form. What do you? What is the covering form term where you um, protect them? Uh, Tex is protecting Saber uh, is protecting Wolverine here, where he's never. Because yes, Sabretooth looks gigantic, and Wolverine doesn't look so so big here, but he's always moving him off center and protecting him in ways. That makes sure that he doesn't look like an absolute fucking dwarf. Do we have? A, do they fight anymore? In here? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, after he rips the tuxedo off, right? And he doesn't look short. Here, he looks tall actually compared to this girl. And you're all, you're always trying to do Wolverine from angles that don't that don't betray mm -hmm. his uh, his shortness. I guess they don't. Um, if you go back and watch that, did uh, Wolverine Cuck Spider Man episode mm -hmm. that I did? They do a they literally line them up and have Peter Parker, Mary Jane, and, and Wolverine all standing uh, head to head, toe to toe. Mm -hmm. And Mary Jane was the tallest, yeah, right? Mary Jane's the tallest, then Peter Parker, and then Wolverine's the shortest of them. He literally looks like a dwarf, and yet he fights these this like his main rival, Sabretooth is this giant seven foot tall Hulk but Wolverine's like 5'5 five five yeah. or shorter mm -hmm. sometimes they put him at 5'4 five or 5'3 five even here on this X-Men extras you know they are, they're always protecting uh, Wolverine and they make him big front and center here because uh, um, uh, what's his name Bishop uh, Bishop is a big tall motherfucker oh yeah and Wolverine doesn't look little 
here compared to him. He's up against another guy that's at least 6'4", 6'5". Mm-hmm. Big, Hulk and towering guy. And I don't think Beast is super small either. And yet Wolverine is front and center here, and always he's always protected, and uh, and 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 they make sure that they don't. Um, I mean, this is a pretty big, pretty big difference. In this picture, but that's just an observation I make about you know when you put Wolverine in comics, you got to protect him. He's your money maker, right? He's one of the most popular, or he yeah. is the most popular X Men. He don't look short here. He sure don't. You know, in reality, his legs should probably end at about here <laughs> or here to make him short right right he's got this big these big you know because he's got the superhero proportions they always make the legs and especially marvel the marvel method of drawing is you know you make the legs super super big and uh so he looks like he's probably six three six four himself here but this dude's like five three and look how look how big uh they make him look just an observation not it's not a criticism it's just the dude's supposed to be short he is yeah and he's never really like canonically even from the very beginning he and showed up it, fighting the hulk up in canada and that was supposed to be a, a massive you know size difference yeah. too and they they always that well you know they made that joke in deadpool versus wolverine the comic accurate wolverine and he was a big you know real short dwarf looking thing mm-hmm. and i'm just laughing like you know have you ever read a wolverine comic book they don't do that to him yeah they never make him look small they make him look like this so this is a this is literally the comic act he looks more like hugh jackman here <laughs> than he does like any kind of like dwarf or or short dude yeah. so th- this is a, literally a comic book yeah. So this is literally comic book accurate as, as to what uh, Wolverine looks like. And once again, those claws. Look at that. Look that at is... the size of those freaking claws, gang. <laughs> at least a foot and a half. Oh, yeah. Like, that's that's got to be uh, tricky to, to, to swing around. But that's the beauty of Tex. He can, he can exaggerate all this shit, make it all look great. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should get out of here. What do you think? I think we've we've proven our point here with issue number three. I think so. We embarrass we ourselves some, with our voices. So. Some nice, some nice voice acting there. And uh, if you've got Sabretooth issue two, and you'd like to send it to the t- channel, maybe you've got a dupe in your collection, uh, and you want to see us cover issue two and do a lot more of the um, a lot more of the voice acting, then you can. Uh, where uh, Andrew makes um, Wolverine sound like Gambit. <laughs> Uh, you can send it off to uh, P.O. Bo- Kevin Strange, P.O. Box number five, Cottage Hills, Illinois six two zero one eight. If you are a creator and you ha- and you make your own comics with short guys and actually make them look big, mm-hmm. uh, you can send your stuff to Kevin Strange, P.O. Box number five, uh, Cottage Hills, Illinois six two zero one eight. Just like Paul Payne did Ooh. with. Um, his Rambo versus the Blair Witch uh, comics. He sent me the whole run, books one through four, and also he sent me uh, the extra bonus um, Michael Myers versus Jason Voorhees, the uh, 2023 Halloween special. And um, we did a, a mailbag episode where we looked all through, and I did uh, I did an embarrassing. Um, oh, did you do a uh, Rambo? Oh voice? yeah, of course I did. A oh my gosh. So, uh, hey yo. Uh, Here's your bill, madam. Well, thank you for eating at Wong's. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is a great a great series. Uh, bootleg, of course. Uh, we love our bootleg comics here. We love our horror comics. And uh, the uh, smashing them together, Rambo vs. Blair Witch. We also did a whole episode. You can go look that up on the channel. Uh, Rambo vs. Blair Witch Book 1 got its own standalone um, episode. And if you okay. want your own standalone episode, yeah. uh, you can send your comics to uh, P.O. Box number 5, Cottage Hills, Illinois, 62018. But in the meantime, we got to go find issue 2. Let's go hunt some, uh, some long boxes. Let's look through some dollar bins. And see uh, see what we can come up with. What do you think, Andrew? I think so. We 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 got to find some kind of text in there. Let's uh, let's hit the dollar bin, and uh, we hope to see you there, gang. And remember to keep on.